yeah, uh, Justin Bruckman Adventure, episode 13, right? Yes, sir. It's 13, with uh, probably the greatest fucking human being I've ever met in my life, Lindsay Garbett. Hi. <laughs> I love you. Oh, excellent. Uh, we've been, I, I, in our first, uh, uh, what did we just call you? Oh, our first broad. Yeah. <laughs> our first female yeah. guest. I don't think I don't think chicks like it when you call, call them broads, like but we're going to run with it and anyway. So, uh, oh, it's about fucking time. I'm I know, so, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm so I'm, happy to be yeah, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. So happy. I'm, I'm almost nervous. Well, I know, right? Feeling good. And it's uh, it's beard season and it's fight week. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I guess we'll start with the obvious and that's what's the name of the girl you're fighting again? Um, you know, you know, I'm so good at this. Uh, Ryan, Amanda. <laughs> right. And that's a re- rematch from yeah. the last BTC. Yeah. That was a really good fight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was that a split decision or was it unanimous? It was unanimous, wasn't it? Mm, I think it was split. Was it? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. I Whatever. Guess yeah. might, might as well fight her again. Yeah, exactly. Um, I get unanimous. Fight round and t- one and two <laughs> like you fought round three last time. You need to be... <laughs> Don't don't use so much structure. Just be, know, be, eh? just be yourself. It's so hard to be patient. Be yourself, shit. man. Just yeah. go fucking tear someone's face off. It's just so much fun. More fun when you do that. Yeah. And you always seem when you let just be more of an animal, then you always just seem to perform better. Yeah. You know. I, I know. I don't want to. I didn't want to panic right off the bat. No, no, for though. sure. But uh, the, this is this will be fun because the extra two rounds. If it does. Oh yeah, go that's that far, right. Yeah, it's fine. If it does go that far, I'm gonna. Fucking wear it down. Oh for yeah, sure. for sure. No one's gonna. I would have stopped. I would have stopped that if we had extra time. Yeah, yeah. No one. Uh, no one's gonna outrun you. Uh, I like. I think it's like almost every fight we've ever had. You, uh, whether you're winning, whether you're winning or losing the round, you somehow always end up on top in the last thirty seconds, dropping <laughs> bombs on people's faces. <laughs> yeah. So like, but which is I don't know how you do it, but it's amazing because that's always going to be the last thing the ref, yeah, the judges see. For right? sure. Yeah. So, and I think about that consciously too. Yeah, for it's, sure. It's Steal around all the time. Like yeah. if you only have thirty seconds left or whatever, you might as well do whatever it takes to get on top yeah. and start pounding, right? So yeah, oh, I love watching you fight. It's so uh-huh. fun. Man. I love you being there. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. Let's, yeah, let's go yeah. Punch, some, punch some faces. Well, yeah, uh, we're good at it. Remember that? Uh, remember the time. We went to Tokyo and filmed a reality yeah, show. Yeah, that's pretty all right. <laughs> <laughs> that no one that no one watched. Holy fuck! It was ter- it was so fun to do, but that whole thing was it was it was fucking horrible. I don't know what they were <sighs> what they were thinking when they they had so much good content. I know, and, and then every episode ended up being the same, the and same. then other, other than the fight, yeah. But well, there was some 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 random shit that was, I just remember being so funny. That them them making me <laughs> sorry spoiler <laughs> spoiler. I said no one no one watched it and no one's going to. It doesn't matter. So. I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Okay, the shit that happened didn't actually happen. Yeah, yeah. It may have been scripted. Yeah, a bit. it may have been scripted because they're like, I remember calling and telling you about this, but they, they made me go to my room after practice and like pace around like I was so upset how practice went and I was worried about the fight and it was just so awkward and weird. Yeah. And then I had to, and then I had to pretend I was on the phone talking to you. Yeah. And then I was all upset and I needed you to be there. Meanwhile, we already had your fucking ticket <laughs> bought, ready to go. Well, I, they, I remember they, uh, yeah, I remember par- I was parked around in the corner from the he- in a cab around from the land. They're waiting. They're like, okay, pull yeah, up now, stage. right? Like, so yeah. it was supposed to be all fucking dramatic. I'm like, really? I was already, ta- yeah, I was already talking to you on the phone. Like, you knew <laughs> no. I was there, but whatever. They, that, that was like one of the, like, well, the show fucking sucked. But no offense to anyone who produced it or, but. That was like it could have been so good. But uh, yeah, it could have. Yeah. It was. It was still one of the best fucking oh, things was. ever done. Yeah. Like it was so fun. It was. Uh, and the people we met, the shit we yeah. got to do, and it was just awesome. One like, of the coolest adventures. Yeah, it couldn't I've have got better. Sure. I loved. I loved Japan. I loved Tokyo. I thought that's just amazing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I just. <laughs> I just, I can't remember, I think it was the day after you fought. I just remember sitting on the roof at your house and I was just like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. It was amazing. Like, and uh, met like Lenny and Byron and all these great people. And it was just. And TJ, uh, yeah. yeah. And it was like, yeah, we just came this Oh little, yeah, yeah, Laramie and uh, yeah. Little family and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it was fucking, it was pretty good time. But I will never forget, it's worth watching uh, Lenny's episode just to see him jumping around with his dick in his hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that was like the Those fight. They should. Hurting. That's the stuff they should have really like got down. Like the whole thing was that Lenny had struggled hard to make weight. This kid, and um, so did Byron. And they yeah, were both hurting, bad. hurting. Like he got yeah. on the. We were at. We were at a uh, this 
gym like this dojo and and he made he he didn't quite make he had a few like few grams left or something like that and we get him back on the bike and ride and cover him people were giving him jackets to keep warm make him sweat and like we're just and they were gonna he couldn't make the weight they're gonna take the scale away and like they we had so we had to go find him somewhere else later to weigh in and he fucking finally made it last second and he was just running around like because he's butt naked he's running around this place with his dick in his hand jumping up and down it was amazing and and they didn't really they didn't really like the Nothing. really good stuff that happened they didn't no. yeah it no. was it was awesome it could have been so good but Whatever we now, had, we how, had how fun. How did it all come about? Like who 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 started this? Like did somebody approach you guys and offer you? It was you? Brad. Uh, how did... It was Brad De Silva. Remember he get he yeah, yeah. yeah he came to you like he's like how this opportunity if okay, you want to yeah. do it and you you're like fuck yeah I don't know, I, don't I know. actually wasn't at first I don't do you remember that I was yeah. like oh, well, I, I didn't know. want to do like, it either. I don't want to go yeah be <laughs> the reality show thing I was kind of you know I tried out for Ultimate Fighter twice and I was yeah. kind of I don't know I just was like eh, I don't know. But then I was like, fuck it. Because I don't want to do it, let's do it. I'm the, so fucking happy I did it. Yeah, yeah. That, that was your exact words to yeah. me. You're like, you know what? I, I don't want to do it. And that's why that's why I have to. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll go then. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So that was, and it was. And see, you, you do shit you don't want to do. You put yourself outside the comfort zone and cool shit, cool shit happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like like uh, starting an MMA career when you're like yeah. in your 30s. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's so, the shit I'm talking about, people. Yeah. Get get to work. Uh, just a little, a little. Uh, a little history is uh, Lindsay's actually former world champion in boxing before she got into mixed martial arts, and then uh, so it was pretty. The transition was pretty easy, like punching people in the face, just different yeah, different gloves. That was, but getting a fight was. It was fun. It was really like, hard. Yeah, the first little while because it, you're kind of in it's an pretty, awkward spot. Yeah, it was pretty much like a two year transition. Yeah, where I was well, kind of yeah getting away from boxing, training into M- MMA, and. Well, if for Ugh. someone who was O one O, you're you were a pretty scary. Yeah, ab- opponent I get it. I don't have, have it right. Either. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking terrifying human. So, uh, but it yeah. was the road has been like I got to be on this road with you, and it's been the fucking best. Right, so much fun. Like we've gone so many great places, yeah. done so much cool shit. So, so I remember the day you I, yeah I came here and you're standing there. I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? And I just happened to see you like. On the try the tough tryouts the day before mm-hmm. online, I was like, "That's Lindsay Garbett," and then you showed up the next day, and yep, now we're shooting podcast. Yep i I went to that I went to that tryout pretty much with like zero jujitsu, like fuck all background, and uh, yeah. After after that, I was like, "Yeah, if I'm gonna do this legit, I gotta show up uh, on Justin's doorstep." Yeah, and I did, and you were very welcoming. Yeah. And yeah, you're Lindsay fucking Garbett. Hell yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Bitch, let's Come on go. In. Yeah. Oh, I remember the first, like, for, yeah. I'm like, do you want me, can I, you want me to hold pads for you? Yeah, sure. And I was like, I was like, fuck, I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. And it worked out pretty good. I know. <laughs> and uh, uh, now there. your, um, now your journey is continuing to wrap Parabellum now, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're still I'm, here, yeah. but I know life changes and our path changes, but you're of with course. some of the best coaches in the whole fucking country over there. Right? Hell yeah. So, yeah. Bunch of savages over there. And- yeah. And you wanted me to go there. You're I like, know. yeah, I'm you not, sent me off. It's I didn't like, chase you away. No, yeah, it's no, like, no. It's like, it's, yeah, you got to oh. like, gotta go, kid. Go, I, go <laughs> well, iron sharpens iron, and that place is full of yeah. little little tiny hobbits, right? So you got lots of little little fucking animals over there to train with. And, and great with Rory and both uh, Lyndon. You yeah. Got, you got good coaches, right? Like, you can have all the jiu-jitsu and boxing in the world, but if you don't have someone who's completely committed to, like, training mm-hmm. mixed martial artists, like... You're you're just doing piecework, you know what I mean? Like over yeah. there, they got everything going on at the same time. So yeah, they there's they love that shit. They love it more than the fighters do. Yeah, and it's so structured. Yeah, and yeah, so it, yeah, ev- pretty much everything I I'm not <laughs> right. I'm like I don't got a plan. I don't really yeah. like this. Yeah, but you know, it works. But hey, <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> love you. Love you for it. Yeah, but yeah, uh, no. It's, do you uh, do you think that you'll You'll box again when you're done MMA, or what are you going to do? I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm just going to ride it out, and I th- I, I, it'd be so cool to go out with one. Fuck yeah. You know? I'll do just that. Just go out with that one. Yeah. Boxing fight? Or... Let's go. Yeah. Let's know. go to, we'll go down to Austin, Texas, and the, uh, <laughs> and we'll do one there. With Tattoo Nathan. gloves? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Another, another great adventure we went yeah. on two years ago now is uh, with Nathan, uh, Nathan Draper, kid that we were training he does some of our tattoos and he got uh there's this 
event they have in Austin called Tattoo Gloves. And this is a big, <laughs> um, like it's a big fundraiser for, for I think it's for the oh, war vets or something like that. Right? Something cool. Yeah. yeah something it was cool. Something like cool. That. Yeah. And they, um, <clears throat> And Nathan just signed himself up and picked himself a fight, and he never put on a pair of gloves in his life or anything. And so we we got we to go train him. him. And, yeah, trained him, cornered him, and we had a time out in Texas. Yeah, it was wicked. Dope. He ended up getting paired up with uh, it was oh, it was Delo- Oscar Delahoy's Delahoy's brother in law. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was fun as shit, like because it. Nathan's like the most awkward, <laughs> unathletic fucking dude in the world. But fuck, he trained so hard. He, he got, got in mad there. shape, good yeah. shape. And he was, he's a good boxer now. Yeah. 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 And they, they punched the shit out of each other. You had to get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, got hit, he got hit so hard that his mouth guard went into like the fifth <laughs> row. And like, he had, he had to, to run around. <laughs> run over and I was like, Whoo. I saw it in like slow motion out of his mouth. Let's run over, get it, <laughs> sit off, put it back. <laughs> yeah, that was, go. That was yeah. good. That was such a great adventure. Yeah, that was awesome. So we're gonna we're gonna do it again. I'm going. Oh, he's already going? he's already signed up. Yeah, I know. are you gonna go? Uh, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm supposed to be going. I don't know. Yeah. I held pads for him this morning. So <laughs> well, right. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna good, do it again. Yeah, good tacos. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking totally down for that. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna be at. Josh, I want Josh Hill's wedding that week, and then I'm just gonna take off like a rock star from there to. Oh, he's in, Mex- uh, he's in yeah, Mexico. Mexico yeah, Mexico to Texas. I'll figure it out. I got the invite, but I don't think it's really in the schedule. So. <laughs> no, no. Well, we mm-hmm. could be on the same plane together. Yeah, do that. Yeah, that gets weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> we'll leave that out of the story. Uh, Come on. Nope. No. No. I got airplane drunk once. That's all I, anyone really <laughs> needs to know. That's who anyone needs to know. So, <laughs> Mama Garbs kept you in check. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she, keeps, she did. She, keep, she kept everyone in check. That was her job. As always. Yeah. This, yeah. Your, your mom was uh, a <laughs> na- uh, natural born caregiver, even for yeah. grown, grown children. She, she loved you. That's for sure. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Like her own. Yeah. Like her own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, if you if anyone follows my me on uh, social media, every once in a while you'll see uh, a tattoo of my face pop up. Every once in a while, I just want it's just so the people know the history. <laughs> like that's actually on Lindsay's yeah, body. Yeah, I actually got that. Yeah, so. and surprised you. Yeah, thanks. You're yeah, the best. That was, and that we, was and awesome. we and we got matching uh, Tabori's when we were in Tokyo. Yeah, we as well. did. That was fun. Shit. Who would have thought? All the cool shit we've done. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if other people think it's cool, but we do. Yeah. So the. Uh, that was a cool experience too. Getting a, a, a tutorial, it's like a Those hand poke. poke t- yeah. So it's like had that like, like the yeah. traditional style, right? Yeah. So it's like yeah. this big long fucking lance, and they're like, "Oh, yeah." Remember, we didn't even know what it meant. We just picked it off the book. We're like flipping through the book. We're yeah, like, we get "Oh, severed that, heads. Oh, that one's cool. Severed head, cool." <laughs> yeah, you like that one? That, the, yeah, we did did that, but the but uh, it turned out being a cool meaning. Yeah, it was like, uh, some sort of symbol. of fucking awesomeness i don't remember what it is. i know but we, we we found that out after but we're like shit i just wanted the severed head yeah i know severed head's cool but like it could have been anything like you are this racist like yeah. who knows right it could have been anything we're yeah. like oh well, whatever we oh, didn't no, think I, of every, that. everything's so upside down in that place like, it's just the weirdest spot like the yeah. shit you can find in vending machines in tokyo will blow your fucking tits off yeah. man it's crazy like if you can dream it you could find it in the vending machine over there what's an example that somebody listening wouldn't think uh well, uh, you can get, like, you, underwear. You can get sure, underwear, like random underwear. Yeah. You can get new or used. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the weirdest. It's the weirdest place in the world. I, I, the uh, the best way I can explain about being in Tokyo. I've been there three times. Yeah, I fucking love it. It's like being stuck in a pinball machine. Mm-hmm. It's so weird. Like the lights, and it's nonstop. It's just. It's like, but it's kind of organized chaos too, mm-hmm. right? Like everything works. There's so many millions of people in that, just in that city alone, but everything just functions like perfectly. Yeah. Like you couldn't do that in North America. Like you'd never know how crowded that place is because everyone actually just does what they're supposed to. Like they stop and wait for the light. No one's jaywalking. There's no litter. That's the biggest intersection, isn't it? Yeah. In that the, one, the, the uh, when yeah. they do the scramble, right? Yeah. Everyone crosses like, at the, I think Young and Dundas is like that now too. Yeah. They have the X there now yeah. where you can just go wherever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but in, I think it's in Shinjuku, but it's like right, right in the middle of Tokyo. And you can watch, if you watch that from up top, it's, 
fuck it. there's literally ten thousand people crossing the street at the same time it's crazy i just love it there man it was so, so that was fun. that was our only really night out that we got to kind of see the yeah. town so yeah you've been there a couple more times you've had more experience yeah. of it, but yeah. it just just it's just weird as shit <laughs> it, it really is but I, like i i'd, I'd go back there again i don't i don't revisit places like too much i like to do one and get out because there's so much of the world to see but tokyo i'll keep going back there if it presents itself because it just kind of gets weirder every time right? <laughs> so that was fun <laughs> but if you can back it up get a hand poke tattoo yeah it's way better than getting yeah, a machine cool. tattoo what did that feel like yeah compared to a normal one was it's it like much way more painful easier than, yeah because no, it's I, easier yeah. yeah it was nothing really but still uncomfortable but like i guess but because because there's more needles spread apart think, right like yeah. there's more needles so if you think about it it's, it's weird because they did the um, they did like the hard lines with the machine and then he just goes in with this big lance and they he mm-hmm. sticks it in it's like and you can hear it. I had the video somewhere but you can hear it like like well you had oh, it okay. in a um, harder spot though yeah where did they I had on my calf so that was easy that was oh, nothing but you're just inside, inside your my leg thigh. so yeah. that's a little bit dodgy yeah, but yeah. if you said it was, wasn't as bad yeah. then poor guy's just in there yeah okay yeah. <laughs> giving a sniff <laughs> I think you. Pro- I think you probably fell asleep on yours. Probably, yeah. yeah. Because you actually do lie on the ground too. It's not yeah, even. Yeah, a- it was cool. Like we walked in, and the guy he you come in and you take your shoes off, and he makes you tea and everything. He sits you down, and oh, shows wow. so shows you his books and his flash. Like his English was pretty good too, right? Yeah, so, yeah. And I'm like, all right, go for it. Yeah. We'll take we'll take two severed heads, please. Yeah. And then just lay down on like a little rice mat, and he just fucking goes to down. It was cool as shit. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I, I, what a good time! I would I wouldn't change that. No. Mm. And, and you punched that poor, poor girl poor out real girl. bad. Yeah. 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 She, she signed up. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was. And, that was oh, cool. yeah. Lenny knocked this guy out real bad, too. That guy's got stretchered. See, and that's another going back that with the footage. They're filming Lenny and I warming up. And I was like, I because I didn't even know Lenny. And I was like, you throw a lot of kicks? And he's like, yep. I'm like, kick this guy in the head right off the hop. And he's short. And Lenny walked out, kicked the guy in the head, and put him to sleep. I'm like, I look like a fucking genius, <laughs> but no one but didn't use any of that shit. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, but that's fine. I never signed a release anyway, so there fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Meh. Yeah. yeah. Was it like their version of tough? We've had some people comments about it because you've mentioned it briefly before, yeah. and they're just curious about the details of like the reality show. Like, was it supposed to be like tough, or was it just like a one-off reality show? I don't think so because. Cause yeah, we were supposed. The idea was we go over there to train with their guys, and then they come over here to train oh, okay. with our guys, which which they did. And I didn't really have a huge part in, in that. They trained at, at Adrenaline yeah. for <coughs> I think Hall a week or two guys, yeah. that they were here, and then they ended up fighting in where the hell did they fight? Quebec? Is it Quebec? I think yeah, they, it was Montreal. Yeah, yeah. So we went and, and yeah, we we're, were there for the fights, but. Um, so that was the concept of the show. So it wasn't like, you know, you're not getting eliminated or, mm-hmm. yeah. No, it's supposed so, to, I think it was supposed to like show the cultural differences and this, and, but the, still the camaraderie and whatever else it was seasoned too. Mm-hmm. Was, like, so and they were talking about doing it again, but I guess it didn't really yeah. fly. Yeah. Cause season one, they went to Brazil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a few guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Fuck. Mm. Sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was. Yeah. Check, check, yeah. 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 check. Check off a list yeah. of shit I never knew I was going to do. It even existed, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That was yep. good. Yeah. Mm. So uh, where have where, where you fought? Uh, Montreal, Detroit. For MMA? Yeah. Yeah, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah Montreal a couple times. Um, Detroit, Calgary, Calgary. twice. Yeah. Calgary twice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you fought... Mm-hmm. Um, Snafu and, and then the, yeah. the other crazy broad there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Punching bag. That was a good night, too. <laughs> that was a great night, yep. And then, uh, and then uh, yeah, Tokyo and then Ontario, right? So Yeah. Two so in Ontario? Eight. No, that's just, just the first one. Like, BTC was the first one, right? Mm-hmm. This will be mm-hmm. second, so. Where have you boxed? Eight, I know you boxed in wild places. Yeah, l- lots of... Uh, New York, upstate New York, little places in the States, like Indiana, Connecticut, stuff like that. Uh, but then Australia, uh, China, those are the two furthest. Yeah. I guess. That, fuck. that was cool. Fuck that flight to China. It, it would kill me alone. But well, I, well, I did it. it was, I don't know how you... Yeah. Uh, f- fuck 15 hours in the air. It's horrible. Yeah. 
So, uh, yeah. and, and, and you would bring your mom to corner you sometimes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I bring her everywhere I went. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Imagine having your mom in your corner in a fight. <laughs> <the best. laughs> My mom. Anyway. She's useless, but yeah. Yeah, it's your she, mom. She, she, she makes you feel good. She does. She makes me feel so she's there for everything. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> that's like, uh, it's, it's like, it's like having Gordy in your corner as well. It's like man child. And a lot of guys will have Gord. Gord doesn't know shit about MMA. But having Gord in your corner is just, mm-hmm. like, he's in Brandon's corner. Like, you know what I mean? What do you tell Brandon about boxing? But having Gordy in your corner is like the best thing ever. He's just like, it's like you walking in there it's with good feels. Yeah, yeah. Just going in there with a hug. Just good for the soul. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like your mom is, your mom made every situation fucking <laughs> awesome. Right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Gee, I, I, yeah. So I learned so much from that, that woman just telling me, yeah, just always keep my, on my feet and dust me off. Like. Well, it's genetic, obviously. You, you pick, and, hey, pick. I'm, I'm trying to be like her. Yeah, that's yep. pretty good. Hard, hard pretty like good. mama garbs. That's a pretty good goal. Yeah. Pretty good goal. So we're going to win a title on um, Saturday yep. night. Yep. And then uh, and then what do we do? I don't know. Because the UFC is a bunch of twats because you should already should be in there. Mm. So maybe just take this belt and then we'll go to the UFC after that. I mean, yeah, if you're not busy, I mean. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we're doing. <laughs> nah. I, mean, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna wear this girl down real bad, and like, I don't imagine she's got five five before. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Yeah. So yeah, I think because uh, you can see her last time, you can see her start to come apart kind of mm-hmm. in the third. That's and that's when you start to get like pick up the pace and get mm-hmm. a little more violent, which is the Lindsay that I like. That's, yeah. Uh, real mm. me comes out. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. No, but said so when you live when you when you free yourself up a little bit and just be a bit more more of a goon then. You kind of, I always feel you perform a little better. Yeah. So I like it. So just be yourself. Okay. Just I'll be, be yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so Pretty now much. you've moved away to Etobicoke on I me. I know. I know. My heart's broken. I don't know what to do with myself I'm anymore. I'm so sorry. That's all right. But you know, that was a stupid move for me. Not that it was stupid, but, uh, well, I was commuting. I was commuting so much from, I was in Niagara a lot when my mom was sick and in Niagara a lot in general. And then, uh, I bought a house. I moved out of my ghetto condo. Shouldn't which, have. <laughs> no, I should have moved out of my ghetto condo. Come on. All right, fine. fine. I <laughs> liked on. it. I liked it. <laughs> anyway, I lived in a ghetto condo for nine years, saving my pennies. And I had it in my head that I wanted to have this big house with whatever, you know, like the big, the backyard and the big lawn. I want to cut my grass. Did you, have you Shit. cut your grass once? I, had, I cut it a couple times. Yeah. Anyway, I barely lived in it, and it's up for sale. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. But now I know that I don't want that. I just, I just want a simple Tri- life, man. T- trial and error. Oh yeah, yeah no, trial, I get it. Trial man. and error. I have now. I have. Uh, I'm renting uh, a condo in Etobicoke, and it's, it's uh, close to Parabellum, closer to my grandma in Niagara, and it's not that bad to work, is it? Yeah. No, it's it's well, depending on what time. For day shift, I have to leave at five. AM, so I get there in 35 minutes, no problem. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, rush hour traffic coming home or going to work on nights. So, so uh, for anyone that, um, <laughs> <laughs> for anyone that doesn't uh, know what you actually do for a job, try to, ex- try to explain it to them. I am a security guard yeah. at, at the nuclear plant, um, Ontario Power Generation. And uh, yeah, I get to carry guns and, Hang out and oh, like arm secure, like yeah. those intense arm, arm security. Guys? Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. okay. She plays, she plays, she plays cops and rob, plays bad guys. Yeah, shoots things. Yeah, hangs out with her buddies. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> That's awesome. It, it is, and it it does sound cool. And I don't really do a lot, and it's not very satisfying. But <laughs> <laughs> it's not. But I, I love it. It, it allows me to do the shit outside of work that Hell I want to yeah. do. Yep. And again, yeah, I work with. Like some of my best friends and I get to, we do a training every five weeks. We do training and that's cool. We get to go play cops and robbers and yeah. yeah and go to the range and shoot blow, shit. Blow and, shit up. Yeah. So that's, that's the awesome part of the job that and, and we look forward j- to. And just, so <laughs> when's the last time you actually had to like. Do say, something? I was going to say, do something? Uh, I'll get a call. Oh, a girl can't get into the change room. Okay, cool. I'll be right there. <laughs> That's it. I know. I fuck all these guns and you don't. But it, if we do have to do something, it's a bad day for yeah, oh, exactly. the whole yeah. GTA. So yeah. we don't we don't want a bad day. It's no. cool. Yeah. We're there for, yeah. 
just in okay. case. And, just in case. And hopefully I ride out my career and with nothing happening. Oh, and, that'd be nice. And but yeah. It's any it's any job though. You gotta if you wanna make the best of it, man. You got yeah, and if you wanna do the things you really enjoy in life, you gotta work you gotta work. You gotta work hard. Yeah. Right? Like and whether you got you have a stressful job or you're working like you put in the hours or it's unenjoyable like for you you have a great job you said mm-hmm. it's not some days it's not very fulfilling because you're not actually shooting at people but like <laughs> yeah you, st- it, you had to fucking work hard to get that job i did right? yeah that allows you to go and do the shit that you love which is smashing people in the face yeah and that's oh. and that's the biggest thing i know a lot of people have jobs that are satisfying and they don't need anything else outside of work but fuck that like fuck that yeah so what I, I have fun at work I punch in, punch out, and then I go and fucking tear it up when I'm when I'm out of work. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a great job. My job is is cool as shit, yeah. and uh, I'm still bored as fuck. Like <laughs> like when I leave here, I'm still oh, struggling. You, you always got something going. I, you I always do. got some kind of side goal, which I love about you. You always got something. Yeah, I do. Something going I just. On. Um, but well, look at us right now. I know. Like, this I know. Is fucking I, awesome. I, I, so proud of you. <laughs> so proud but, of you. But it's a. I don't even know if I'm chasing something or running from something. I just got to stay busy all the yeah. time or I lose my shit. So, but That's okay. uh, I leave uh, next Friday. I'm flying to Cayman Islands. I'm meeting Manchild and we're going nice. to run a fucking marathon. It's going to be about half. I'm not, I'm not doing no more of those full marathons. They're just for stupid people. Yeah. So, that is just cr- no, man, well, you, it's crazy anyway, but the halves are, the halves are enjoyable. You can do them. Mm-hmm. Like if you're, you could do it easily because you're just fit and mentally tough, right? It's just, you just wouldn't like it. No, I just do not enjoy that. <laughs> I don't no, know. but God, I set these stupid. Maybe... Yeah, I set these dumb things up so like, mm-hmm. like, uh, so, so I'm like, I have to work. I want to re- if I want to have a good time, I have to set a goal that's gonna make me suffer so that I get to enjoy it on the other mm-hmm. side and then figure out what to do next, right? So, yeah, it's like, yeah, I'll go around this so I can eat shitty food and drink oh, beers for so a few days. That's awesome. But yeah. you did you did really that pretty recent that you just started getting into running. That was like, you know what, I'm gonna fucking do this. And that was what was the first one you did? The Nash Nashville? Oh I did was that I the did first? like uh no yeah, I did a full one before I did a half one. That was a mistake. It was <laughs> yeah. awful. Yeah, I bled from weird places forever after did that. Did you just uh, no, no so training pretty, and then you just jumped in? Pretty into later it? in like late in life oh, yeah. that you're like, whatever, I don't I'm, yeah. I'm I think I just try like, this. I'm I try just, running. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. like I like suffering and I couldn't I can't yeah. fight anymore. So it's like I'll try that. So who knows? Maybe. <laughs> Nashville, like it was uh my buddy and I, we did we we're like, all right, let's do this race. We wanted to pick somewhere. I always pick places that are like stupid shit somewhere that's going to be new and fun right and party afterwards whatever so i'm like we're gonna do a marathon I'm like well i'm not doing toronto I'm gonna go to toronto time like nashville let's go so we fucking drove to, well we we set up six months of training to do this race and then i blew my achilles in like the first <laughs> three weeks so i sat around for another four and a half months and just and then one day i, tr- I got on the treadmill i tried i ran for an hour and i was like I, and I talked to my bud. I'm like, we'll go out for a run Sunday. If I can run, then we'll do it. And then so I, I ran like twice. And then we said, drove to Nashville, went to the Dukes of Hazards Museum, and then ran a fucking ran a marathon and lost all our toenails and Ugh. was chafed for about six weeks and <laughs> swore I'd never do another one. Did mm-hmm. another one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Set, right. set, set dumb goals. Yeah. Get it I, done. I, I motivate get, people. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. You're gonna you're, you're gonna do the shit. um what do you want to do? The SEAL thing, right? I I did I never got a chance to do that yet, but I don't know. It seems not anymore. The, I don't know. It seems kinda hokey now. It's not or not as not as cool as I thought it was. Need something more Just, badass. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's not as as hardcore as they make it out to be, maybe, but whatever. It's on the to do list. Mm. Go I wanna go do like a trial, like it's like a fake uh, hell week. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. yeah. I've heard of hell week. Yeah. That sounds terrible. Why would you want to do that? Just to be like, See if yeah, you can I hang? could be a Navy SEAL, but what? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> See? I'm going to be a security guard at OPG. It's <laughs> dead fish. <laughs> yeah, because I want to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But maybe, yeah, that's I th- on I think, uh, shit to do. I, I set up, I set up goals. I, I have a sense of adventure, right? right? And you're the same way, and that's mm-hmm. what, and that's why fighting is so fucking good because it's scary as hell. But like, I don't know, the reward from it 
are the best, right? So I think you need to set up stuff that makes you nervous and scares you like all the time. I try mm-hmm. to set up, a, no matter how small, I got a goal every day, every week, every month, every year, something that's really big and I want to try. And I, in that, in those goals, I try to set up stuff that kind of frightened me, right? Because I think it's important for people to be like, put themselves under stress, man. That's how you grow like mm-hmm. all the time. Every time you fight, whether you win or lose, like you, it's an opportunity for you to fucking get better at something or, you know what I mean? It's just it, high stress. It doesn't be high stress. I don't saying everyone should go pick a fight, but you no. should do something outside of your comfort, comfort exactly. zone all the time. Yeah. Right. Now for me, like I've run a half marathon, I've done 20. It's no big deal, but it's putting yourself in the different environments and stuff like that, or and taking the flight and taking the trip and this and that like the like you got to put yourself under the stress and then reward yourself for your work afterwards. That's the best part. Like, it's like you win a fight, you dress up like an asshole afterwards. And, <laughs> exactly. Oh, you should see yeah. what this girl wears when she, when she's done fighting. She cut, what do you go to value village and find a dress? Basically. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Think, yeah. That, so. Well, I got nothing crazy planned for this one, but it's meh. You gotta kind of dress up a little bit. I'm sure, you'll look great. Oh, thank you. You're in pure bro. Yeah, I know, right? I'm telling you, I can't not look great. Yeah, you can wear yeah. something from the 80s. And you're gonna fit in. Yeah, real nice. Yeah, yeah. That, that's one of the weirdest. Have you ever fought in Peter bro boxing or anything like that? No, no. But we went. And, I think oh, yeah. we went and watched. Or I don't know. I've watched fights there, but Brock, I've never. I cornered Brock there. Were you there for that one? No. It's just one of those no. hick towns. It's like if you took Oshawa and just drop and yeah. dropped it in the middle of nowhere, right? There's nothing. Apparently, it's a a, a good, good fight fan town. Um, Cody Cody's from there. Cody yeah. Crowley, um, boxer, and I was actually talking to him, and he's he's not going to be home, but he said it, he gets for his boxing fights, he gets a good group out. So it'll it'll sell it'll be out. Good. It'll yeah, sell out. Hopefully. Like so I was there for Brock's fight, and the it's at the where the Memorial, Pete, yeah, yeah, it's where the Pete's play. Mm-hmm. So it's maybe. 2000 seat place or something mm-hmm. like that but it'll be fucking rammed I hope so. right yeah. there'll be 2000 people in in 1900 pickup trucks yeah i hope like, so it's gotta, gotta keep mma alive in ontario man uh no yeah. for sure it's just I'm trying yeah, yeah. btc does good. a good BT- they do a great job yeah i've been to the last one there how many is this four this Three. is four yeah, yeah i've been to two of them anyway and uh, they have huge crowds and competitive fights and talent. And, and they they treat us good. Yeah. Been, yeah, treating us good. So. Yeah. It's. um Can't complain. Ontario. Everyone thought Ontario was going to be this like hub of mixed martial arts. And it's been a fucking train wreck. Like mm-hmm. getting Hayashi out of power was like the one of the first things to do because mm-hmm. the uh, he was just such a shitty commissioner and he was just lazy. <laughs> Fuck him. So, but now the new guy they have in there seems like way more reasonable, right? So I haven't had to do too much. Yeah, because I was licensed for the year, and this is this will be until the new year. I'm good, so I haven't had to do anything. So this is great. Do I get to get my lit? No, nope, you're no, good. I'm, you're I'm, good for the the rest of the year. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I know. I thought it was till March for actually, but I think that's. I go think back. they changed that too. Maybe. Yes, yeah, stupid. It should be everything. Yeah, whatever. I know. I don't know. Or twelve months from the day, like I don't know. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it was it's such a pain in the ass doing anything in Ontario, but everyone's so afraid someone's <laughs> gonna fucking die, right? I like I get you gotta cover yourself, but like it. be reasonable. These especially these young these kids they're like they're just trying to like not make a living, but you know what I mean? They're trying to make a profession out of it and like and they make it so hard for these people like to just get shit together and you get your paperwork, they send you back for something else. Everyone wants different meds, it's just a pain in the ass. <sighs> Gosh, so apparently, so like Ontario, next to maybe Jersey, is like the hardest place to get your licensing done with their medical requirements. And everything's just a pain in the ass. So, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna fight in Peterborough. Yeah, the people are gonna be to go. entertained. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there'll be we're all set. be a, two thousand people and one set of teeth. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so, but and you, your weight's fine right now. You're good to go. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I got six pounds to do, and mm-hmm. I'll. I'll hopefully be down a couple more by tomorrow and then uh yeah weigh in on friday so mm. i'll have a few to few to cut tomorrow do the old the old bath and easy peasy yeah what, getting, what, getting good at it yeah yes not yeah. what time uh, what time do you weigh in 9 a.m is friday. it up, is it up there yep All right. yeah it's at the hotel so that's good super mm. convenient but man i remember when the first time we to make 115 and i i was fighting at 125 for boxing but i would only cut like five pounds but that was like well you were talking about it with bad boy yeah. with back then especially boxers don't know yeah, how to, we they don't didn't know anyway <laughs> no no it didn't i'm like well i gotta cut five pounds like this is tragic it's gonna be so hard and now i cut 
to 115 and he was like don't worry we're, we'll get you there it's not a problem yeah. and I was so anxious about it but we we did it no problem yeah. I actually had to sh- I was naked at that way in as yeah, well that, but- that, that was amazing too <laughs> that was <laughs> Yeah. You know, this is why this is this is why MMA is is amazing because like there's a lot so much of it that fucking sucks and a lot of idiots in it. But we went to Calgary and we fought this girl. Uh, what was, what was Stephanie Asenza? Uh, nicest, great, great broad. Nicest, <laughs> great broad. <laughs> <laughs> nicest, nicest girl. Yeah. And I know her coach and uh, Gary Fagan, and he's a good dude as well. So we have connections with these guys. So we lined up to fight out there, and um, we had a little bit because. We were. We thought we we cut the weight and everything was good to go, but our scale wasn't synced up the, the official scale. So we came in and get on. You were like a pound over or something like that. I think right? it was half a pound, but whatever. Ended you up, you yeah. got to you got to make it right. Uh-huh. But we thought we were already on, so we didn't bring our gear with us to the because sh- it was at a casino and whatever else. And everyone was just we're gonna like fuck. And everyone just started kind of like I think you used Stephanie's sauna suit. Yeah, like her She's opponents like, like here. Take my shit. No way. Yeah. yeah. And then threw up, threw on some track, the track suit and jackets over top. Actually jumped in the cage, cranked the lights on. It was hot. Just mm-hmm. skip, yeah. burpees, whatever. Took us about half an hour. And then I, I ended up getting a pound off, not even half pound. Yeah. We, we went way over. Yeah. No, no problem. Cause I wasn't dry at all. We just, it was just we a just minor we were, fuck up. Yeah, from Yeah. You learn every time. It, well, and the scale wasn't in the hotel either. Yeah. We had to go to the other venue. So not a big deal, but yeah. And Dude. then, and then I didn't have anything. I, what I had underneath was wet yeah. from sweaty. So I was like, like eh? yeah. So I was like, just as like, yeah. Yeah. But it, that would say that, that that's the beauty of the, of the, uh, so a lot of the people involved in our industry is like that your opponent gave you, she, like gave yeah. you her sauna suit. You know what I mean? Where she could have sat back and made you suffer and work for it even harder and take 20% of your exactly. purse, whatever. She's like, ah, fuck here, take my shit. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, that's pretty awesome, man. You see that stuff every once in a while. You know what I mean? I yeah. think one of the things I love, I love, there's all, because of the entertainment part of it now, there's so much shit talk and whatever else. And guys try to hype it up. And some people legitimately don't like each other. But for the most part, guys have a great deal of respect. It's always cool to see guys smash each other. And what's the first thing that happens when they're done is everyone just fucking hugs the hugs shit out of each out. other. And it's well. like, cause it is, it's like the, you, you'll never feel more alive and then you will when you're in that. And, uh, you'll never appreciate anyone as much when you get to fucking actually go hard for mm-hmm. 15 minutes. Like they tried to kill you. You tried to kill them and at the end. You're like, ah, ah let's yeah, it out. it's the best, it's I the know. best feeling in the world. And it's like, we're, I shit talk MMA and the people involved in it a lot, but it really is like got some of the greatest fucking people in the world. Like, you know what I mean? I've met so many amazing people. Like you're on top of the list and that, that it brings us all together. You know what I mean? It's, it is fucking totally. awesome. Fans are dumb, but, <laughs> yep. but yep. there is a lot, there is a lot of so many amazing people that we've met over the, and you see it all the time. Like mm-hmm. there's just a camaraderie in this sport that doesn't exist. Yeah. And, and it is, I think it's, it is different for girls, but I know I'm weird like that, that I don't have, I just can't be, I can't be mad at or get that anger to fight somebody. It's like, I am so happy. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I get so mushy a couple of weeks before a fight. I'm just so appreciative of, of my team and everyone around me. And then your opponent shows up and, and like, I'm just oh, so thanks. happy they showed up and we get to fight. This is amazing. So I, I've just never had that, that beef with, and then like I said, like when then I, we end up, I we're friends after like yeah. I follow the the bitches I've fought my whole yeah. career. You know? Yeah, we follow each other and whatever. That's oh, yeah, that's, that's you fought weird, Ke- uh, what's her name Cutler in Detroit and weighed in and whatever else. And you look, I can't remember what we were talking after. He's like, she's really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, All right, let's go okay, rearrange yeah, your face yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a great fight too. That's, that was good. Yeah, that was. Uh, I that wanted a, to have that one back. We were, we had, yeah. yeah, that was talked about for the last BTC. And I don't, I don't know. I don't think she maybe just didn't want to come down to 115 or so. I yeah, don't know what it was. She was huge. Yeah. She's yeah. a big girl. Yeah. So, and why would you like what she won that fight? I think like pretty decisively, but at the same time she got her ass kicked to win yeah. that fight. Like she took a fucking beating. So like, I don't know why you'd sign up for a rematch. I like, know. I, you know I, mean? I wanted that one back. Oh, so I, that would have been. I get it for yeah. sure. It's a good, you get it back and it's a good win, you know, but yeah. Like, I don't know. 
I'm not sure like if she didn't want to fight across the border or na- not in her home state or the money or whatever, but like, yeah, nah, but whatever, whatever. Can't, Who knows, can't blame but her, but it was a, it was a great fight. Like yeah. you were in some bad spots and that, oh like you had God. both, both arms cranked, I think. And <laughs> both arms were fucked for a couple months after. <laughs> 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 Shit. Yeah, that yeah. Was, that was, she had so many arm bars on me, but got out. Yeah. And got same out. thing. You come out on top and start smashing <laughs> your face. Yeah. yeah. I think you got stuck, you got stuck underneath in the third pretty hard and i think that was really what cost yeah at it, the, cost uh, right at the end of the yeah. fight yeah i think but so she that's but. it she's a big strong wrestler so but yeah. still good that was a fun adventure yeah that, that was a great adventure too. That's, yeah that was like part of the <laughs> like doing these not regional shows but like smaller shows it's like <laughs> oh my gosh remember the, yeah the light weren't the lights all messed up and stuff at that card Oh yeah, yeah the, the lights didn't didn't the, even go yeah. off until I think my fight they finally did. Yeah, that's but the right. They're the fight, fighting with like, all the lights on in the place, and they put us in the red roof. So in. weird. Yeah, yeah ghetto some ghetto fucking hotels. Wait I for love it. me. I love me some red roof though. Uh, I, I thought there was gonna shit. be a dead dead hooker <laughs> under my mattress. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. Detroit. Yeah, Joshua, do you have any questions? <laughs> Uh, well, we can definitely talk about some fight news. There's a really, really big fight in two days. Uh, it's a Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. Oh, right. Number three. Oh. Oh. Number three. I don't know. I don't need, I, I won't watch it. And, uh, I, I won't, it's not, and it's not because those guys are over the hill and I'm like, where else? I'm like, I just don't fucking care. And like, I'm not being disrespectful in the fact that like these guys shouldn't be in that position. Uh, Tito's actually been active. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, Chuck's won one in his last seven, right? And he hasn't fought He's, in ten years. <laughs> you say it like that, <laughs> right? It sh- it's a fight that shouldn't really be happening, but but in a but uh, no disrespect to those guys. The rest of the card is shit, and I wouldn't pay to watch that. Like, yeah, cause isn't it the first card for Golden Boy Promotions doing yeah, MMA? Yeah, it'll be the last. Yeah, think so. Yeah, yeah. Watch the yeah. watch the presser today. It was embarrassing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Delahoya. Like he doesn't know he's a promoter, but he's he promotes boxing because he's got the connections. He he actually looks pretty foolish trying to promote an MMA fight. It's Interesting, pretty, oh, it's wow. pretty bad. Yeah. But it's probably just a tax rate off for those guys anyway, yeah. right? So <laughs> yeah, just make some more money. I guess I don't even know anyone else on it. Like, and I guess we'll be fighting. So yeah, we'll be we'll, busy. Yeah, we'll smash got stuff yeah, right? to yeah, you do. got stuff to do. You can't yeah, be watching the watch it. It's not because I don't have cable or anything. <laughs> 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 I might not have cable, but whatever. I just got internet the other day. Hey, big girl. I, yeah, there was a deal, so I jumped <laughs> on it. But uh, yeah, I've gone like three, pushing three months without, and it was pretty good. I don't turn it's my really TV liberating on. though, right? It, it really was. Yeah. Yeah. No cable, no internet. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I would, uh, I could easily live without television. I don't, it's not. Although my grandma has. Yeah, but you go watch, you we'll watch so Tur- Turner Classics. Every time films. I go over there, we'd watch Turner Classics. Drink and whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, it was lovely. So that was the only TV I've watched no, in the last few months. TV just make, make you stupid anyway, so. Oh, well, 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 well. Anything else on your mind there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the only other thing, there's another UFC card. Again, you guys are busy, but it's uh, Francis Ngannou makes his return against Curtis Blades. I don't know oh, if you've yeah, followed too much. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of an exciting fight because he hasn't yeah. been the same since Stipe tuned him up uh, in the title yeah, fight. Actually, that, that's, that's well matched. I think that'll be a good one. I think Blades beat him by decision earlier on in the career. I think I so. I can't remember. But they're, um, yeah, both big, strong athletes. We'll see. But it also could turn out like the... Uh, uh, Fran- was it Francis versus Beast where they both yeah, sat there and stared at each other because they were so fucking scared? Like, yeah. me too. I wouldn't want to, like, imagine seeing that guy, in f- either one of those guys in front of you. It's terrifying. Which is weird with Francis because he went from the Alistair fight and then it's, uh, the, he had the fight with Stipe and then after that he's just like a completely different person. Yeah. And you guys are no better than somebody like me. But once you, get, like, beat up that bad, I'm just, like, I'm just, I can just change you and make you scared to get, like, uh, be that aggressive, I guess? It's... What do you think it is? Everyone's different, right? I've only yeah. been shot off kind of once. And uh, I have taken some good ass kickings, but I've actually only have really gone to bed like once. Mm-hmm. And uh, it didn't, it didn't, I was a little tentative for a little bit, but I, I got over it. But everyone's, everyone's different. Like, yeah, you get knocked out, man. It's, it'll change your life. Like, I think Francis is scared to gas out too. I think it's like maybe. a cardio thing for him. It could be. He was so worried just about, he just doesn't want to use too much energy. So now he's like, oh, just trying to pick like one or two shots. But that, that last fight he did with Beast yeah, was horrible. That was horrible. To <laughs> it was watch, horrible. So. But I don't know, everyone, uh, it's easy to be gun shy. I've seen, I've been in the corner of guys that go out there who, like, tune anyone up in the mat room and they get out there and they're just under the lights. And and also, once, you, yeah, once you've yeah, you got your face smashed a little bit, you're, 
like your your outlook can change a little bit. So mm -hmm. you've been hitting the face I've pretty been, hard. I've uh, been fucked up a few times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So it always takes a, the one after kind of. It, it, you got some demons to fucking sort out Scary that man. next time you get in there. I've, I'm, well, I did for yeah. sure. And then if you, it takes that good performance after to kind of get back on the rails, but it's, yeah, it does fuck you up. And, it, and it'll stay with deep, you too, man. because yeah. like you th everyone thinks they got a fucking beard until you don't. Oh yeah. Right. And then you'll, and then you like, you'd like to think you could take a good punch, but you, when that one lands, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You've seen guys just take huge shots, and then you've seen guys, bink, and then every night's different. You never know, yeah. right? Go, go to sleep, and um, yeah, emotionally, it can get be it, for people that never be the same, right? Like, and some guys, they'll tell you your, we, your chin's weakened, and it could be worse next time when you can't take the same damage anymore. Like, you don't, and you, those are all things in your own head when you're back out there trying to get it done again, right? Like, mm -hmm. it is, uh, it's pretty scary. It's scary on a fucking good day like it's especially scary if the last time you went out someone put you mm -hmm. on your face right yep. so, but it's all worth it to knock someone else the fuck out <laughs> yeah, so that's it's, for sure it's, it's a good time <laughs> did you guys uh, see cynthia calvillo try to make weight recently uh i think she's trying to fight for she's fighting at 125 pounds under that i don't know if she's fighting for the title or not but she had to be like carried to the scale oh, I was trying oh to yeah find I, I, don't the video no. uh, I did see that like that's did they did they let it go? I can't I, remember. I, I'm here. I'm trying to look real quick. That shit is ridiculous, man. I um. She looked like she was dead. It was at 125. Yeah. Oh wow. I saw I was I was fights in Montreal years ago, and there was a guy that we were waiting around because Quebec used to do everything backwards. They you'd cut weight and then sit around while they did the whole uh. those meetings and then the medicals and everything and then weigh mm -hmm. you afterwards. And now they're like they figured it out, right? But I remember just sitting there. I think we we're at the Hard Rock Cafe or something like that, waiting for weigh-ins. And this guy's standing beside me and Tony and just <laughs> boom, passed right out, like smashed his face off the floor. They just revive him, got him on the scale, <laughs> good to go. And next day he was in the cage, right? So that's crazy. Yeah, they let her fight. She fought on Saturday, November seventeenth. She yeah. won in the first round by submission. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah. they made her when she they made her lift her arms up, and she almost like like you could see her body go, and she was trying to stand up, and they're just like hold it, hold it, and she's just like, oh, oh. and then they're like, yeah, one twenty five. I don't know. Oh my God. Maybe a scales. different weight class, or maybe maybe a better nutritionist. I don't That's what's curious about because like you said, most people don't know how to cut weight properly, so I don't know if it's mm. just them doing it incorrectly or they're just really she's huge people. One fifteen usually, isn't she? Is that what yeah. she's at? I think she's usually a one fifteener. I, I thought. Yeah, it does say that, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I yeah. don't know, maybe. So that's... Not, not <laughs> sure. I don't know. Weight cutting's weird. Some people handle it better than others, you know what I mean? Like, some yeah. people are just... They hate They hate doing... It. It's never fun. It sucks, right? But once you've done it a few times, like, it's not that big a deal. But some people don't like being uncomfortable like that. It is. It is... It really does feel like you're lost in the fucking desert, like, wandering around looking for water. Like, your brain isn't working the way it's supposed to, and your organs mm. are fucking doing weird shit. Like, you've really... Like someone like you, you cut maybe 13, 10, 10, 12 pounds or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like by the uh, time you're done mm -hmm. and that's fucking 10% of your body weight you squeezed yeah. out of you over a few days, like, and then you got to go stand on a scale or, or, and talk to people and like, mm -hmm. it's, it's a weird place to be in. But since we've, since you've helped me the first couple of times, like every time I've kind of logged in every time trying to get a little bit better yeah. and. You know, yeah, always room for improvement. Exactly. And yeah. So with the weight cut, it's like anything else. This is confidence. Like once you, once you know you can do it, you're mm -hmm. like that stresses off your mind because oh, you're like, yeah. oh, I did it before, right? Mm -hmm. And now you just some people it's two goes two ways, right? You know you you know you I know I can do it, so I'm like, oh, I can relax now. Or other people are like, no, I'm gonna get fucking better at it, right? And that's your approach to it. Yeah. They try to improve every single time, like make it easier on yourself, right? Yeah, if you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not? some people are like, oh, well, I can, I can be a pound heavier next time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But you see it, and the guys suffer, yeah. right? Like, if you're not gonna be a champ with your food and like your nutrition, your food, your supplements, and your train, like uh, everywhere, you're gonna, you're never gonna be at the top. It's the people who are willing to sac make all the sacrifices. Like it's not just in the gym, right? It's it's every, it's everything. Let me, let me see your knuckles. Yeah, Fuck yeah. She's, she's got carrots and peanut butter on her knuckles. <laughs> That's uh, that also means sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like my favorite snack, and I just I I don't eat it because Wait, together or like. Well, well, yeah, I'll have carrots because <laughs> on its own, but peanut butter, no, and then especially the combo. Okay. Carrots, peanut butter. 
because I fucking love it and I like to torture myself and it's just, yeah, so, it's just sacrifice. I wish my worst vices were carrots and peanuts. Right, that's butter. what I was thinking. My life would be so much fucking out. easier if all I had to like do to make my life better was cut out carrots and peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on like the Daniel Cormier diet. I'm like Popeyes and all that. You know, you got to cut out all that yeah? stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I, but you're but you're like me too. You like the daily torture. Yeah. Like I just, I like torturing myself. Sick and fucks. I know we are. It's we get a fucking owner. Over <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I do. Yeah, like, no, I get it. I know? get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. No, you got set big, set big, fucking scary, stupid goals and and suffer every day till you get there. Yeah. It's good. And the little ones too, like yeah. carrots and peanut butter. Yeah. I ran like, nine I'll fucking miles that. today. It was stupid. Yeah. But, but at the same time, I was like, it's not bad. Yeah. Because I like, I like when other people watch me do it going, that guy's fucked. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Nah. Yeah, just, we're just gradually getting more fucked. I think. I think you just yeah, you gotta set just, up warp shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it that way. I won't change a thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's working, working so far. Yeah. <laughs> Any, anything else on your mind, Joshua? Uh, I was just about to ask, what is the homework assignment for today? Do you have oh, any homework for us? I actually, I made fucking notes. There we go. Can you be, actually? So, uh, I I don't have a homework assignment for you because I honestly think that everything you do is just fucking fantastic. <laughs> so you go, you make everyone around you better. And uh, so just keep doing that shit and, <laughs> and you represent your mom just fine. If you do that, like I told That's you, great. like when she, you, when she walks in the door, you're like, fuck yeah, man, you bring, you bring a, you bring an energy to everyone that just makes everyone around you rise up and it's fucking great. Don't change, don't change this fucking thing. Um, I actually have a homework sign up for you. Perfect. Yeah. So it was, uh, what I said, I call him clap boy. That's his, yeah, that's his name. Clap boy. He is chlamydia. Uh, (laughs) Hey, go, uh, go check Netflix Netflix and watch, uh, have you, have you watched stretching Bobito? No. It's so it's it's a documentary stretching Bobito, uh, radio that changed lives. Fucking amazing. Check that out. And the next one is get me fucking Shad. I want Shad. I want Shad. (laughs) Well, if Shad's listening or if anybody's listening, help us get Shad because I want to get Shad too. I'm really But he's producing that documentary for Netflix right now. So I don't know exactly whether he's scheduled again. I don't know if he's in New York or in Toronto exactly where he's at. Maybe he's he's too big for us now. But and I also I also wrote uh, down for Clap Boys drink more water. Just have more more water water and you're. More yeah. like water in your diet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got to carry that four liter jug around like you. You're looking for it right now. I, I can don't tell. see it anywhere. So uh, you will be proud. I have clean eyes. As much as I joke about Popeyes, I've cleaned up my diet quite a bit since I, I started. I, I can totally every time, see it. Every time I try, I try to eat something bad, I'm just like, Brugman wouldn't approve of this. Oh. <laughs> he would not approve of this. So. Hey, changing lives. Yeah, WWJD, no, motherfucker. Yeah. Changing yeah. lives. Exactly. That's yeah. it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I think that's fucking pretty good for today. I uh, I had a great time. I How about so you? so much fun. It's so nice to finally be here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You miss that smell in here, eh? I do. It's like mold and steak oh, and I'm porn <laughs> <laughs> it's homey it is, it is. Most, most guys come in they're like what is that you're so like, oh, yes. 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 it grows on you like old yes. balls yeah. in here that's yeah. great so bring your kids to Brooklyn martial arts yes yeah. yeah they're gonna love it okay i think we're good to go so you continue to be a good person you drink more water yes sir i i don't know what i'm gonna do I don't, you man you guys can come up with a homework assignment for me whenever you like oh okay Good Ooh, to that's go. That's like a challenge. You got to put some thought into that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. There's nothing I can't do. I know. <laughs> I got it. Lindsay Garbit. I fucking love you. I love you. I know it's amazing. I love you. Clap, boys. So Alrighty. Clap. Thanks for listening, everybody. Woo.